Sean Myers of the Westmoreland Sports. Now we're joined by Jesse Reed, the head coach of the Franklin Regional Panthers boys basketball team before the 5A state semifinals, a rematch against Moon area of the WPIAL championship game. But before we get to the Tigers in this rematch, Jesse, let's talk about another rematch. That was the third time that you saw the Shaler area Titans and you ended up going 3-0 and against them, a very good team, but you had their number this year, including in the quarterfinals last week at Gateway. What was the key to that victory? The guys just kind of came out ready to play, and, and we defended at a really high level. That's really kind of what it came down to, uh, I think, through the third quarter. Um, if I remember, it, it was about six minutes left in the fourth quarter. We had them at, at 34 points or something along those lines. Um, and when you're keeping teams under 50, you're really giving yourself a chance to to win. And – uh, you know, we kind of let them come back a little bit in the fourth. They went on a little bit of a run, but really the way we competed, the way we defended was kind of, you know, back to two to three weeks ago, uh, how we were, how we were competing on that end of the floor. So I was glad to see us kind of get back to that, um, against, uh, against Shayla. 63 51, the final score. I mentioned it's the third time you defeated them this season. Of course, that double overtime classic in the regular season. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then in the WPIL playoffs, now in the state playoffs, is it? I mean, obviously, it's tough to do to beat any team at this point, but is it even more challenging to try to knock off a team for the third time, knowing that at some point it's kind of the law of averages? Yeah, especially with a team as good as them. I mean, they won 25 games this year. You don't you don't do that by accident. Um, but I thought we kind of matched up well with them. And, uh, you know, our guys kind of took it, uh, you know, to heart with with us getting matched up with them three times. You know, we were – compared against them all year, you know, who should be what seed in the Whippeal playoffs, who should be ranked higher, all this stuff. So, um, you know, our guys took it upon themselves to, you know, try to leave no doubt that we felt we were the better team and, um, you know, has all the coach over there and, and their team. I mean, they're, they're a great bunch and um, it was fun competing against them all three games. I will tell you that much, but uh, it was, uh, you know, guys found ways to get, get it done in, in different fashions. Uh, I mean, you know, like you said, first game was double overtime. Second game, we kind of, hit them with a barrage early and, and they never really could catch up. And then last game, uh, you know, we had a, we had a great third quarter kind of got a little uh, stagnant in the fourth, but then down the stretch, you know, kind of do what we do and guys made plays and uh, you know, it was just really fun to be a part of. I think probably more in the WPIL than any other district, the mindset is so crucial in the state playoffs because for many of these guys, a WPIAL championship might be the biggest goal. And I know for most districts, it's all about the states and the state title, but the WPIAL championship is so prestigious that ultimately I think that's what guys really think about. They're playing down at the peak. When your team comes up short and really in heartbreaking fashion, like you did, it's not easy to, to kind of refocus and say, let's make another run. What did you see from, from the players, their mentality that have allowed them to, to go on this state run now? You're 100 percent right on you know how much weight is put behind the Whitfield Championship and and what these guys feel. Uh, I mean, it was heartbreaking seeing them in the locker room after the game, and you know I gave them the weekend off after, and I was like, hey, look, like I know this sucks. Uh, I did it as a player myself. I know what you're feeling, and there's nothing I can say that's going to make you feel better right now. I was like, so let's just take the weekend, regroup. Um, but I, you know, I reminded them like, hey, we have another opportunity. We might be able to see them again, um, and we'd love the opportunity to try and get some revenge if we can. So. Uh, it was it was tough. I mean, I, I think our first two state playoff games, I think we still had a little bit of a of a drag just because of the you know losing the Whippeal final and the way we did, and um, you know it's just it's hard to kind of come back from. But uh, you know, getting back into that environment uh, on Friday night against Shaler, where we were back local, we had uh, you know a really great crowd. It was another team that we were very familiar with and. We were ready to compete against that kind of got the juices back flowing and kind of got us back to playing how we were uh, leading up to the WPIL final. So it was good to see um, the guys, you know, they're just uh, so resilient and, and, you know, obviously it affected them for the loss, but um, they also realized that, Hey, you know, it's very realistic for us to be able to go make a run through the Western part of the state uh, and, and have a chance to play for a state final. And, you know, we're, we're one game away from that. And so I think the guys are really starting to see how possible that is and, um, I think they're, you know, the, the excitement's coming back into them and, and uh, you know, they're, they're seeing the progress of making a run. And so now they're, you know, they're excited that we got a match up again with Moon and, and we have an opportunity to try and get one back on them uh, after, after losing one here a couple weeks ago.
And lastly, uh, yeah, it was a tough way to lose. You were the better team, I think, for probably three quarters of that game against the Tigers, but they owned the fourth quarter, and that was enough. What do you have to do in this game to have a different outcome? Uh, so, I mean, watching the film back, we had a lot of miscues defensively that um, were just kind of uncharacteristic. Uh, and I think, you know, after studying the film and, and what we've worked on in practice, uh, I know these guys are just like me. They watch a ton of film as well, so they've all watched the game back. Um and there's a lot of things that we know we can improve on on ourselves. Now, they're also a very good team, and they're going to make great plays. They're going to make tough shots. They're going to make it tough on us uh, offensively because they're with their size and their athleticism, and, and you know their half-court defense is really good. So we have to do a better job of getting out and transition on them uh, early and often, and then defensively limit the miscues and, and limit them to tough twos, and, and I like our chances. Um, but if we uh, kind of let them get easy ones, let them get in a rhythm, and, and we kind of get out of what we normally do, uh, it's going to be another tough battle, but, uh, you know, the guys are excited. Uh, I think we have a pretty solid game plan going in, so I'm excited to see them operate. Well, Jesse, congrats on getting back to uh, an opportunity to potentially go to the state title game. I know that was a big, exciting time for you as a player, and now maybe the opportunity as a coach as well uh, to go all the way to the state finals. Good luck against the Moon Tigers. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it.